Yo, what's good, everybody? So, One Piece 1044 is right around the corner, and you know it's about to be a banger. Coming off the bombshell of 1043, we know that Oda's about to do something crazy. So, before we get into that, I have one question for y'all. How do we feel? Before we get into that, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm dropping like three videos a week on here for y'all. So hit the notification bell for post notifications and let's get straight into it. Of course, after chapter 1043, the entire fan base has been sent into a tailspin with theories surrounding what Luffy's fruit actually is. And I gotta say, I think there's been about 100 theories. But coming off break in chapter 1044, right around the corner, I think it best that we just kind of brush up on what the most popular theories are so that going into the new chapter, we can see if we were right or we were wrong. To start off, let's begin with the most popular theory. It seems to be that Luffy's fruit is actually the resin fruit or the juicy, juicy no meat. This theory has basically been made popular due to the last panel in chapter 1043, where we see Luffy's body like melting or turning into a goofy substance. And since then, the fan base has spared no opportunity to point out the similarities between Luffy's fruit, which we believe to be the Gumma Gumma no Mi, and the Jushi Jushi no Mi could be. First off, resin can stretch just like rubber. Resin gets soft when heated, just like Luffy's gear two. Resin gets hard and can expand, just like gear third and gear fourth. And resin can burn, just like when Luffy uses his red attacks. Resin is an insulator for electricity, just like when Luffy he fought Enel and Enel's powers didn't work on him. And on top of all that, chapter 1043 can be read as Jushi Mi. And Jushi in Japanese means resin. So there were a lot of uh, red flags pointing directly at Luffy's fruit being the Jushi, Jushi no Mi. So we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Another huge theory in the community, of course, this one being more recent is that Luffy's fruit is actually the mythical zone type fruit model Hanuman. Hanuman being a deity in Hindu folklore, there's definitely a bunch of parallels that if you look closely, we can draw between Luffy's powers and that of Hanuman. But before we even get into that, we'd have to accept that Luffy's fruit is actually a mythical zone type and not just any mythical zone, the Hito Hito no Mi. Just like Sengoku, it would be the human human fruit, a mythical zone type. And up until now, Luffy's fruit does act different from other Paramecias. First of all, his powers are always active. It's not like Doflamingo where he actually has to activate the string or Law's fruit where he has to activate the root. Luffy is always made of rubber. It doesn't turn off. Also, Luffy's fruit gives him different form. The gears are actually different forms. Check the top right, check the link in the description for the video that I have on Luffy's fruit and the powers that it gives him. Luffy's fruit also gives him a durable boost i mean we've seen him go through impel down and marine ford and literally take lifespan away from himself and luffy just keeps going he's a tank so just like a zone fruit it seems like luffy's fruit definitely gives him a boost of durability and recovery so keeping all that in mind and i'm not gonna get into the whole backstory of hanuman here i mean it's pretty popular you guys can definitely look it up if you want but just to point out some similarities, Hanuman is immune to lightning. Hanuman can change his mass and his shape, just like Luffy. Hanuman's ability to know anyone's desires. This one's really important because this actually acts like Luffy's version of observation hockey. I, I mentioned in videos before that Luffy's version of observation hockey is different. It's not just seeing the future. Luffy can tell the feelings of people. Hanuman has 
the ability to have lordship and conquer anyone. Obviously, this is like Luffy's Conqueror's Hockey. And Hanuman can go anywhere he desires, just like Luffy's dream to be the freest man on the sea, Luffy wishes to go anywhere he desires. So Luffy having the Hito Hito no me model Hanuman is a huge theory. Let me know what you think about that down below. Moving on. Another popular theory that's been floating around the community actually for a while has been that Luffy's fruit is actually the Hito Hito no Mi or human human fruit model Sun Wukong. This one has been huge and the similarities between Luffy and Sun Wukong have been apparent for I don't know maybe since the beginning of the story and even though a lot of this theory has been decently debunked recently it's definitely been in the community for a long time and I feel like you know, just in case Oda pulls a fast one on us, let's just go through this theory briefly. First off, all the parallels between Luffy and Sun Wukong are very clear. Sun Wukong is a monkey, monkey is Luffy's name. Sun Wukong fought against the heavens, Luffy is fighting against the celestial dragon. Sun Wukong has special abilities and can transform his body, Luffy has his gears. Sun Wukong was even imprisoned and fought a Buddha, just like Luffy was an Impel Down and fought Sengoku. Oda has even depicted Luffy as a monkey before and said that Luffy would be a monkey in previous SBSs. So theories of Sun Wukong being similar to Luffy and Luffy being based off of Sun Wukong. I mean, th there's no arguing that. Luffy is definitely based off of Sun Wukong. Whether or not his fruit is actually the Sun Wukong mythical zone, that's left to be said seem like it's going in that direction anymore but of course it's older so he can pull a fast one on us so we do have to be prepared for that so definitely huge theory in the community now moving on to my favorite theory thus far i actually came across this theory on reddit posted by gaming cave uh definitely the link will be in the description but uh he reached into his bag with this one and i appreciate it so i'm gonna go over it really quickly so the way gaming cave pieces this theory together is that luffy has the mythical zone type model nika and this theory is based off of brazilian folklore and in brazilian folklore they have a deity of the sun and they have a deity of the moon the sun being sun god mary and the moon being moon god ari the two gods that are twin brothers and their story goes something like this mary and ari were once human and were walking through a strange region of the forest where there was no drinking water the only drinking water there was was kept in pots and hidden in the forest by the birds mary and ari came across the pots and mary the sun god picked up one of the pots to drink but dropped it and the pot smashed spilling the drinking water with the drinking water being spilled birds got pissed off and chased mary and ari fled into a nearby hut but were cornered as the birds attacked mary got angry and grew hot he grew hotter and hotter the heat became unbearable so the birds all flapped their wings to cool him but in doing so they blew mary and ari into the sky where mary became the sun and ari became the moon now of course that sounds a little ridiculous and it's kind of hard to see how we can point out any parallels in that but bear with me i love the way gaming cave breaks it down for us here because it's clear mary is the sun ari is the moon there's no available drinking water and the birds have hidden drinking water mary and ari get blown into the sky now let's break each of those down the parallel of mary the sun god is actually the parallel between luffy and sun god nika now we know that luffy has definitely had huge red flags pointing out that he is in fact the second coming of sun god nika you know there's a hundred theories about it right now online so let's look at luffy as sun god nika the moon is actually momonosuke and of course we know that kozuki contains the kanji for light and moon and most of the daimyo in wano have the kanji for moon in their name okay like shimutsuki i believe is frost moon so if you look at momonosuke he's clearly the parallel for the moon now 
the fact that there's no drinking water that is a clear parallel for the rivers of Wano the rivers of Wano are polluted and Oda made it very clear in the beginning of this arc with Tama and others that the drinking water is polluted there's no drinking water for them and going further the birds that are hoarding the drinking water that can be looked at as the beast pirates hoarding all their drinking water and food from the people of Wano, right? We know that the beast pirates are eating good. They have farms and stuff that they use to make food and crops. So they have food, but it's the people of Wano that have none. And lastly, how Mary and Ari get blown into the sky. That is a clear parallel to Luffy and Momo being lifted into the sky on Onigashima currently. I mean, it, that's very, very clear. Now, of course, this is based on Brazilian folklore, right? So we have to consider that being based out of Brazil, their people back in the 1800s and 1900s, they were faced with pollution due to the European invasion. And I love what Gaming Cave points out here because in the 1800s and 1900s, during the European invasion of Brazil, they were forced into slave labor. And as slaves, the slaves were forced to tap rubber from the trees. Thus, we have a parallel between not just rubber, but resin that people are talking about that is Luffy's fruit. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out the rubber boom. Of course, Gaming Cave has it linked in his theory. So cool theory. I know it's crazy, but Luffy's fruit being the actual sun god Nika. I mean, it could definitely happen. I, it's definitely my favorite theory. Of course, we don't know how Joy Boy fits into all this. Is Joy Boy possessing Luffy's body? A lot of people have theorized that Luffy actually had to die for this to happen. So is this even Luffy anymore or is it Joy Boy? So let me know. How do you feel about Luffy's power up? coming up we know 1044 is about to drop and i think that oda is gonna get right back into this guys i don't think we're slowing down so let me know down below how do you feel about luffy's power up drop a like on the video make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell stay safe stay healthy and i will catch you guys next time